Congratulations on the purchase of your new Raiden RXI F2. In this video, we will walk you through the proper steps needed in order to calibrate your fader. In our last tutorial, we went over the calibration settings for the original Raiden RXI F1. On the new model, the calibration steps have been simplified. Let's start by going over a few things that you will need to know in order to properly adjust your settings. First is the location of the calibrate button, which is here on the left side of the fader. Now throughout all of these adjustments, you'll need to be holding the calibrate button down and performing necessary fader movements. Now once you release the calibrate button, it will save your settings. Now the other thing you'll need to know is the position points of the fader. So here on the far left, we have position point A. In the center, we have position point B. And on the far right, position point C. Now throughout this video, I'll be sending through a test tone to help us recognize when the fader is opened and closed. Here's an example. Now by factory default, the fader comes with the closed cut on the right side. And in order to reverse that and have a cut in on the left side, for instance, if you cut hamster, we wanna start by holding that calibrate button down and travel from position point A to C. Release the calibrate button to save your setting. Let's send our test tone through. Now we have our cut on the left side. Now in order to get back to our factory default, it is pretty much just the opposite setting. We're gonna start by holding our calibrate button down at position point C and travel down to A. Release the calibrate button to save. Let's send our test tone. Now we have it back in factory default. Now here on the RXI F2, we have three curve settings to choose from. By factory default, it comes sharp for scratching. In order to achieve a linear mixed curve, we wanna start at position point B, hold our calibrate button down, and travel to C and back to B. Release the calibrate button to save your setting. Our second curve setting is a mixed curve, so we want to start at position point B, hold our calibrate button down, from B down to A, all the way down to C. Release the calibrate button to save our setting. Now in order to get back to our factory default, which is that sharp setting for scratching, we're going to start at position point B, hold our calibrate button down, down to A and back to B. Release the calibrate button to save your setting. Let's send our tone through. And now we're back to our default setting. Now on the RXI F2, Raiden has introduced something new called session mode. So if you would like a cut in on each side of the fader, we wanna start at position A, hold our calibrate button down, travel to B and back to A. Release the calibrate button to save. Now we have a cut in on each side of the fader. One thing to remember while in session mode, input two will play constantly. Now in order to switch off session mode, all we need to do is reset with our preferred setting. So for instance, I'm gonna go back to our standard default setting. We're gonna start at position point B, hold our calibrate button down, down to A and back to B. Release the calibrate button to save your setting. Now we should have our closed fader back on the right side. Now here on the RXI F2, we can get very precise and adjust our cut in for each side of the fader. Here's how you do that. Now in order to increase the lag of the left side of our fader, we're gonna start at position point A, hold our calibrate button down and end at B. And to decrease that cut in, we're gonna start at position point B, hold our calibrate button down and end at A. Release the calibrate button to save and you will decrease the lag of the left side of the fader. Now in order to increase the right side of the fader, we're gonna start at position point C, hold our calibrate button down, and end at B. Release to save. To decrease is just the same as the other side, we're doing the opposite of this setting. So we're gonna start at position point B, hold our calibrate button down, and end at C. Now keep in mind the adjustments are very small, so you might have to do this a couple times. Now for some reason, if you've adjusted your cut-in settings too far and you can't get them back, here are the master calibration settings in order to get your fader back to factory default. Now in order to achieve the master calibrate settings, 
we want to start with our unit turned off in position point A. So we'll go ahead and turn on our unit. We're going to wait two seconds. Now we're going to travel down to position point C. Hold our calibrate button down for one second and release. Now we need to move our fader back down to position point A. Hold the calibrate button down for one second and release in order to save. We hope you found this tutorial helpful. And if you have any questions, feel free to email support at RaidenFader.com.